Hello everyone, welcome back to Fury Time channel. Former WTBA heavyweight champion Otto Wallin recently discussed the upcoming Anthony Joshua vs Francis Ngannou boxing match and uh, shared his opinion for the fight. While in last fall Joshua in the main event of the day of recording card in Ritia this past December. AJ put on a spectacular performance and uh, dominated Wallin for 5 rounds. At the end of the 5th round the Swedish boxer's corner threw in the towel and the fight ended with a TKO declared in favor of Joshua. Soon after their fight it was announced that the Englishman would go up against Nagano in a 10-round bout on March 8th in Saudi Arabia. While AJ is coming off a dominant victory, Nagano last dropped a split decision in his boxing debut against reigning WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury last October. In an exclusive interview, Wallin spoke about the Joshua Nagano fight and shared his predictions. He said, We will see, it's all about styles, and Nagano is a strong guy, and he can punch too. He put Fury down, so Joshua has to be aware. I think it depends if Joshua comes out being aggressive, like he was with me, he might knock him out. But Nagano is a strong guy, so it's not going to be easy. Otto Wallin on the Tyson Fury vs. Francis Nagano boxing match. In the same interview, Otto Wallin shared his thoughts on the Tyson Fury vs. Francis Nagano boxing match that went down last October. Wallin stated that he was surprised by the Cameroonian's boxing skills and praised him for holding his own against one of the greatest heavyweight bagalists of all time. As mentioned above, the two heavyweight juggernauts went up against each other in a boxing ring in October 28th in Rizia, Saudi Arabia. Given Fury's resume, many predicted a 12th night for the former UFC heavyweight champion. However, Nagano surprisingly pushed Fury to his limits. The Predator scored the fight's lone knockdown in the third round and dominated the Englishman in the eighth round. After the fight, the Gypsy King appeared to have taken more damage. However, Tyson Fury ultimately won via split decision. Speaking to journalists about Nganu's impressive showing against Fury, Otto Wallin said, You got to really give some respect to Nganu. I think he did a really good job having almost no boxing experience. And uh, he had to go 10 rounds with Tyson Fury? That's really a big accomplishment. I can't really believe that he did that, actually. I would have thought that he was going to get knocked out, Wallin said. Frank Warren has told TNT Sports that Anthony Joshua has everything to lose when he steps into the ring with former MMA star Francis Nagano. Nagano stunned the boxing world with his debut performance in the ring against world champion Tyson Fury in October. The Cameroonian knocked down Fury in the third round, but the Britain went on to win the fight on a split decision. I couldn't believe it, said Eddie Hearn when asked about Nagano's display against Fury. I was in Mexico and everyone was messaging me, saying, are you watching this? He's just dropped him. I got it so wrong. I thought it was a mismatch and that the fight was a farce and uh, I was so wrong. Tyson might have been a little below par, but Nagano comes in as a debutant and I know he is a stand-up fighter in MMA. But it's not professional boxing. It was unbelievable. I just didn't believe in any sporting arena that a novice in that field could go in and uh, even compete with the top of the top. Imagine any other sport where someone could just go on with a little bit of similar experience. And I thought he was unbelievable. Now we have got the tape of Francis Ngannou, only 10 rounds. It must be difficult going in fighting a guy that you've never seen box before. Warren added, Tyson was not at his best that night. He trained hard for it, but he was not at his best. AJ has everything to lose in this fight. He is come off a really good win, looked good, done the business in style and he will be the favorite on the night. Having said that, you know, the fella can walk, he can punch, it's going to be interesting to see how it develops. I want AJ win, Warren said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.